Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at the Cast Iron Connection, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use your cast iron cookware. Today we're going to be talking about something that is very important to cast iron collectors and users alike. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to test for lead on your cast iron cookware. So we're going to cover that coming right up. Okay, like I said before, we're going to talk about how to test for lead on your cast iron cookware. Uh, most of the time, you're not going to have a problem uh, on your bigger pans and pots. They're not as suspect to be contaminated with lead, although, you know, it is a possibility. Uh, so far, I have collected and restored over 200 pieces of cast iron cookware and not had the problem so far of anything being contaminated by lead but there is always the possibility especially with the small uh, corn stick pans or the small muffin pans that have the small cups which would have made it easier for people who are melting lead down to pour them in and have smaller ingots that would be the the most likely culprit but uh, like i said it's not likely but it is possible so i have went to lowe's and this is a nine dollars and ninety something cent uh, test kit. It has two test kit uh, swabs inside and we're going to be using one of them on these two pieces here today. Uh, it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Let's open these up. The instructions are on the back. You get two swabs. You also have a test page and this test page has a minute amount of lead in each one of these little circles that way you can test your kit and make sure your kit is working properly before you actually uh, use it on the cast iron like I said before we have instructions and we also have this little little test page so we can test and make sure our chemicals are mixed correctly we also have our little uh, test swab if you notice it says crush A and crush B inside here is a glass tube that has two different chemicals and once you crush those chemicals and they mix together you squeeze them into the swab and then that gives you the reaction when you have lead so here we go we're going to start off with crushing a here's a crack crushing b it's a little hard but you can do it so you shake it up and make sure the chemicals are mixed. You can pull the vial out and see that they are mixed because they're the color is kind of a amber color. Shake it just a little more and what we're going to do we're going to squeeze it until we see A little bit of chemical come out the end. See? We're going to test just to make sure our chemical is working correctly. We're going to drop a drop without touching it. Onto our tab. You see, it's turning red. That tells you that red is bad. Red means lead. So we don't want red. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take our pieces 
and we're going to squirt a little bit of this chemical and we're going to rub it for just a few seconds. The test kit says 30 seconds. And we're going to squeeze a little out. So far, we're only getting a little bit of dirt and a little bit of rust. You can go on down the piece. And swab it. If you want to do one piece at a time and wait for the results before you do the other one because you want to make sure that you know which piece is giving you the results. We're just going to rub it back and forth, swirl it around a little bit. So far we're just getting rust and dirt. Okay, let's go back over here to this other side, squirt a little more of our fluid out. Swab it around. Still nothing but rust and dirt. Chances are if one cup is clean, the rest of the pan is clean. So still nothing but rust and dirt, no pink, no red. So I, I can assume and pretty well be safe that this piece here or these pieces, I can pretty well assume that both of these pieces are safe. Like I said, I'm just getting dirt and rust. Either way, there's no red. There's no red at all. It's just rust and dirt. If it was red, it means lead. Not a problem. These two pieces here are going to be safe. They're good. See, all we have is dirt and rust. So, you can see the big difference between the red right here. Kind of hard to tell with the dust, but it would be red. But we didn't have that. So we are safe on that piece right there. I'm going to save my card. I'll probably take a pair of scissors and cut this piece off right here because I have another test kit that I don't want to, uh, I don't want to lose the ability to test the kit. So I'll probably take a pair of scissors and cut this one in half, dispose of the part that's been used. Also dispose of this piece right here uh, and save this for another time. So I have disposed of my used test swab and I have cut the old piece off that has been used and I'm going to save this for my next test. You can buy these in larger packs of more than just two, but they're a little more expensive. I think I paid $10 for this one. So there you go. That's the way that you test for lead on your cast iron uh, cookware. And we just want to make sure that we're safe. We don't want to pass them along so to someone else. So if you find out that you do test positive for lead, don't just give it to somebody else or sell it. Get rid of it. Make sure it's destroyed. Make sure you send it to the scrapyard. And don't forget, if you have any uh, history of testing positive for lead, let me know, because I would love to know uh, about what the percentages are in collecting. I have been fortunate not to have any pieces that were contaminated, but I'm sure there are people who've had that happen to them. So please let me know in the comments uh, if it has happened to you. That's what we want to do at the Cast Iron Connection. We want to make sure that people have uh, the best knowledge that they can get their hands on, and we want them to have the best experience 
collecting, restoring, and using their cast iron cookware. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed my videos, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I'll keep them coming. Thank you so much for watching the Cast Iron Connection.